Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how you can register Islamic marriage in Kenya. Down here we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure page where we have given you detailed information on how you can go about with the application process. We have also included external links which are going to direct you to uh, other websites where they have given you more information on marriage under Islamic law and the Mohammedan Marriage and Divorce Registration Act. Additionally, we have also included, uh, let's focus on the right hand side of the screen, the select language option where you can choose a language which you can easily comprehend and by selecting uh, the language, what this will do, it will translate the wiki procedure uh, website page into the language of your choice. Uh, for this uh, example, I've chosen Kiswahili and what this has done, it has translated the page to Kiswahili and if this is your language of, op of option, uh, this will prove to be uh, advantageous to you for it will be easy for you to comprehend. But for our purposes today, we are going to continue with English. So let's go on with the application, uh, with our presentation. So the, the list of items which we are going to cover in this session are the need of a marriage certificate, the eligibility, the required documents, the steps to follow when making the application, the, the fees payable, the validity period, the processing times, office locations and contact information, and we are going to uh, be adding any other information which we see relevant uh, in, in registering the Islamic marriage. So our, pre our procedure today is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. Welcome. The need of a marriage certificate. The certificate gives you the eligibility to in inherit your spouse's property and jointly own properties without fear of being denied the right to share the matrimonial property when your spouse dies. The certificate also enables your spouse, uh, enables your spouse to join your health benefits the certificate is needed uh, when applying for a foreign visa if one of the couple is working in a foreign country. The certificate is also needed while ap when applying for passport or any other such document which contains the name of, of your spouse. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, also, you need, the certificate will be very handy if you have to prove that you are legally married in front of any authorities. The eligibility is that uh, first we have to see conditions relating to capacity and first is that uh, parties must be biologically a man and woman. Two, the parties must have reached the age of puberty for Islamic marriage and insofar as marital status is concerned, one, on the part of the man, he can be single or married as long as he, married on, he marries only four wives. And even so, as a man may not marry two wives at the same time and can only marry one wife at a time. And if he marries, and if he marries two wives at the same time, the marriage he, he will be considered being irregular. And in case of a woman, she has to be single and single includes a widowed or divorced. And where she, she has been widowed or divorced, she has to wait for a period of four months before she can contract into another marriage. Uh, this waiting period is usually for the purpose to see and determine whether or not she is expectant before she can contract into another marriage. Uh, another eligibility uh, criteria is that the party should not be within prohibited degrees of affinity or consanguinity. Prohibition uh, is not only on, on grounds of consanguinity but also of affinity. So the parties should not be close relatives. Uh, okay, and consent of both parties is very important and in some instances consent of legal guardians may also be required. So let's go on. The required documents is that each party must bring one passport photo. Each party must have a birth certificate or document declaring their age. Each applicant must have their identification document. 
each of the parties present present uh, my, uh, each party must present a certificate or letter of identification if they are uh, not from Kenya and in case of foreign citizens they might submit in addition to the above uh, requirements a written applic uh, application for an exclusive marriage licenses visa and a copy of their passports and uh, uh, no impediment to marriage certificate may also be needed a death certificate or divorce of absolute may also be required so steps to follow uh, you need to know that the registration of islamic marriage is governed by the marriage act of 2014 and the rules of registration of islamic marriages were, were gazetted in december the, in the year 2017 so one can do the application in person only in person and the first step is to have the marriage ceremony which is a prerequisite and after the marriage has been celebrated the register of marriage is mandated to register the said marriage if he's satisfied that the marriage was celebrated in compliance with the provisions of of the marriage act in 2014. so after the marriage ceremony the second step step two is the registration with the registrar of Mar of islamic marriages after the customary rights uh, the couple must notify the registrar within 90 day period of their intention to register the union under the Mohammedan marriage and Re registration act it is required that once a muslim has contracted it to, in marriage it should be registered within seven days and this should be done at the office of the registrar of marriage of islamic marriages so uh, first of all you you may make you can you can make a notification of your marriage 90 days uh, before and stating that you intend to have the marriage and after you have already have the have already uh, gone through the ceremony you ha you have to register it within seven days the third step is the, the review of registration by registrar so the registrar must be satisfied before registering the marriage as to the identity of the parties and the capacity of the parties to get married and the and to will also verify if the marriage did actually take place the registrar will seek the following information he will want to know the sex of the parties involved the parties must be biologically a man and a woman the parties must have reached the age of puberty the marital status of the party the parties should not be in degree of within degree of pro, prohibited degree of affinity or consanguinity and prohibition is not only on the grounds of consanguinity but also affinity the consent of the parties in some instances may also be required so step four after the registrar has confirmed the above mentioned uh, the registrar will go ahead uh, with the registration and signing of the registrar once the marriage has been registered the two parties and two witnesses who witnessed the marriage uh, will are required to sign the marriage uh, certificate and the cost of the certified copy is 1100 and it takes seven days to process so um to mention just to add on this is that after the the marriage has taken place after the wedding ceremony within seven days you should approach the the registrar of marriage islamic marriage and you should go with two witnesses who witnessed the marriage and after the registrar has confirmed the the sex the age the marital status the degree of affinity of consanguinity and the consent and the registrar is going to issue you with uh, the marriage certificate for the for you to sign the for the couple to sign and for the two witnesses to sign and a cost you be pay you can pay 1100 for a certified copy and it takes seven days to process so the cost of a certified copy is 1100 shillings the validity period of the marriage certificate is valid until one spouse is dead or in the event of a absolute divorce the processing time uh, is usually seven days from the day of application 
the marriage should be registered within uh, seven days from the day of marriage so you can get the, your certificate uh, seven days from the day of application and you should register within seven days from the day you've gotten married the offices of the of the register of marriage can be located at sharia house arambi avenue nairobi they occupy the ground floor and you can also visit their website at www.go.ke advantages of the marriage certificate is that you can it allows your you and the spouse to file joint taxes and receive tax breaks uh, it can also help your family uh, to migrate to other countries without many restrictions and if you're planning to buy a house lenders uh, need the, the marriage certificate so they can view your credit history jointly and separately you and your spouse the, there are three aspects of marriage in Muslim, Muslim law. There's the legal aspect. A legally Muslim marriage is a contract which provides certain requirements as regard to consent and provides the provision of its, of its breach. One can enforce a Muslim marriage judicially and it provides for specific terms. It also has a social aspect and a religious aspect. So thank you for watching Wiki, Wiki Procedure. Hit the like button of our video and I urge you to also uh, hit the subscribe button on our uh, YouTube, pay, YouTube channel and tell a friend about our, proce our procedures, our wiki procedure YouTube channel. You can browse through the list of procedures which we have. We have many procedures not only for Kenya but for the entire world. You can also visit our wiki procedure page where uh, we have different procedures for different things for the entire world and this case are focused in Kenya and we have uh, procedures for 47 counties all the 47 counties in Kenya like uh, for example you, you can go to Baringo and know how to register the Islamic marriage specifically in Baringo and you will be given the office location and where you need to go so you can make the application so once again hit the uh, the subscribe button and like this video and tell a friend about wikiprocedure.com i wish you all the best in registering your islamic marriage thank you